morning guys i'm standing in line here at walmart trying to get some supplies uh things that we need you know for the house and uh there's people in line as you can see and um i'm going to show you the distance you know how much distance that we are you see that lady there in purple we're actually six feet away from each other or probably a little bit more but that's my foot there I just want to show you and there's a line for the toilet paper and the wipes okay, okay guys I'm I'm home now I was able to get most of the items that I went out to get as you can see right here I picked them up and I'm so happy and I have a couple of things in the refrigerator that I'll show you but I did get the Lysol. Um, this is the one in the bottle, the, the one that you pour into your spray bottle. I got two Clorox disinfectant wipes. They didn't have the large ones, but these were the only ones they had, so I was just thankful to pick them up. And they had uh, quite a few, so I was very surprised. Then I got the Clorox uh, cleaner plus bleach, the spray, and some more glass cleaner which I needed because we were all out and I was able to get these top ramen noodles for my mother because she asked me to pick her up once then I was also able to get a carton of eggs 18 of them so and then I picked up an extra one this is a dozen eggs um, this is for um, my brother-in-law and then I got my creamer woohoo and you know what? I had to go to, I believe, four different stores to pick up these items that I showed you. First, I went to Walmart, and there was a line. You guys saw that. Then after that, I believe I went to uh, the 99-cent store, and um, I got the eggs there. Then I went to, let me see, that's two stores, so I think three stores. Then I went to Vaughn's and picked up these items here. This. It was so weird. I got up at 6 o'clock in the morning to go to Walmart. And when I got there, it was about a quarter to 7 because they said they were going to uh, open up at 7. They, um, they had a line. I'm just walking around the house doing things just trying to keep myself active you know I did my exercise this morning I didn't do a whole lot but I've got to stay active because I cannot afford to gain weight because I'm not able to go to the gym um, here I am getting backtracked forget the exercise right now let me go back to where I started talking to you about about the stores there was a line in Walmart and it might have been maybe about 10 people ahead of me when I got there. I did not have a basket. I didn't think about getting a basket because I wasn't going to get a whole basket full of stuff. So um, I just walked in there and we were all keeping our distances too. In line, six feet away, there was a lady behind me. I kind of looked to the side to see how far back she was going to be for me and she was back enough so I was like good so then the employee came and told us he said all right I'm going to start letting you guys in there is to be no fighting no pushing no running I mean he was just giving us rules because you know some people act sorry to say but they act stupid and ignorant and um childish so you know you gotta it's like you gotta come out with the rules it's like you're a principal so we went on in and um, we weren't running, but we were walking, you know, kind of fast. I'm trying to get some cardio in at seven o'clock in the morning, you know, trying to get it in. So, and trying to hurry up and get to where I want to go to get what I need to get, you know, I'll be honest with you, but I wasn't running. I wasn't gonna do that. Um, my mother taught me better than that. Obey people in authority. <laughs> So that's what I did, and um, I happened to walk in the aisle, and oh my gosh, they had noodles. I was like, ah, they have noodles. And you know, I don't eat noodles anymore. I was so tempted to get a pack for me. You just don't know, like maybe three, four dollar. Uh, those things don't have any nutritional value, and I know they're, they're no good to eat, but you know, if that was the only thing to eat, 
other than going, you know, from going starvation, I would probably eat it. If that was all that was left, yeah, I would eat it. But since it's not, and I do have choices, I try to make the healthier choice. But I was so tempted to grab those noodles. I was like, man, I just want some hot noodles, you know? <laughs> so I didn't get it. When I got home, it's like seven, store opened up at seven, so. I got home, I think, a little bit before 9 or a little after 9. I'm not sure, but it was two hours. I really wanted to go walk, but the streets were kind of wet because it was raining last night and early this morning. And I thought, well, it's not raining now, but, you know, part of the streets is wet. And I don't want to take a chance. What if I fall? Because I have fallen before. I fall. I have fallen when I was walking once, hurt myself, and I fell once when I was... Um, jogging so I just said no I better not Okay, I finished wiping down a lot of the things in the house, doorknobs, as you guys saw. But if, in case someone that does not know, yeah, wipe down uh, everything in the bathroom, sanitize it, doorknobs, the sinks, you know, the, the knobs on the sink. I'm kind of tired now because <laughs> me getting up so early this morning, I'm still, I'm still trying to drink on my coffee, so. I'm just gonna sit back here and relax. Hubby has uh, Lifetime movies on and we're watching some type of movie. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Nothing <laughs> nothing special. These are just some old pajamas um, that I got a couple years ago and my little black slippers. Yeah, it, it's boring. Um, there's a lot that I could be doing to avoid being bored, but you know, I don't want to do too much and I know Aaron him being a teenager he's bored I know he's bored but he's not here right now he went somewhere um, driving somewhere with his uncle so you know they won't be getting out of the car they'll be staying in until they get home so just to get out the house get some fresh air you know I hope you guys are staying safe um, doing what you can that's all we can do is do what we can oh one thing I want to mention this is what me um, this is what my church is doing now everybody may not agree with what I'm saying and that's fine you don't have to but for those who believe in the power of prayer and all that you I'm talking specifically to you we have decided to take a stand my church and I'm not sure if it's worldwide or just some some churches at least in our area out here um we are doing a fast and prayer for this whole entire week and we're fasting and praying all the way up until 12 noon what we're praying for is for this uh coronavirus to be eradicated and defeated and for those of you who know about prayer i'm a firm believer of prayer prayer changes things and um, that's what I believe and we're praying for people who have been affected by this diagnosed with the uh, disease praying for them we're praying for people to get saved if, you, if, you, if they're not saved uh, the dying world out there uh, we're praying that the the president and all the leaders of this country that they will um, make godly and wise decisions so that we may live a peaceful and quietable life, that God will give them wisdom on how and what to do, you know, the things that, that need to be done within this nation. So I'll tell you guys this quick story, then I'm gonna let you go. When I was in high school, we had to pass, uh, some, I'm not sure what the test was, but anyway, I, it was pertaining math, and me and math, mm-mm. Anyway, my score kept 
not being where it should be. So they allowed me to take the test and retake the test. And um, my counselor, she said, oh, I think there's you and a few others, you probably won't be graduating this year. And I'm like, oh yes, I am, I'm gonna graduate. So guys, what I decided to do, and I'm, I thank God that I'm saved, I thank God. I decided to take a godly stand. No one told me to do this, I did it on my own. I decided to fast, literally fast, no food, no sodas, no Kool-Aid, nothing for, uh, what was it, two weeks straight, yes, two weeks straight, 14 days, nothing but H2O. Do you hear me? I was determined. I prayed to God that I told him my desire, I need to pass, I need to graduate, and I'm, I'm going to graduate, but I asked him for his help, and um, I was just praying. Whenever I didn't have to interact with my friends, my family, my teachers, you know, school, I was praying. Guys, I was so determined, I said, no, I am going to graduate. I took that test for the, the last time. The counselor told me that I passed, and I was like, woo, hallelujah. I was so happy. I mean, I was just ecstatic. I left the classroom and ran across the campus, told my counselor, and she was like, she jumped up and she says, don't you ever do that to me again, Liz. I'm gonna whip your butt. That was so funny. And um, I said, can I call my mother? You know, I, was just, I just wanted to tell her. I couldn't wait till I got home and she was already at work. So that's what I did. I called her, I said, mommy, I passed the test, blah, 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 blah. She was like, thank God, hallelujah. That's taking a godly stand and that's what I believe. You believe and do what you wanna do, but that's what I chose to do and it worked. It worked because I had faith that it would work and it worked, I was determined. Seriously, and that's one thing about me, guys. When I make up my mind to do something, no matter what it is, I don't let anyone or anything, any circumstances get in my way. Okay, guys, I hope that you are um, in a good place wherever you are. I hope that you relax. I hope you guys are doing all that you can to protect yourselves, stay isolated, distance from people, whatever you have to do, whatever, you know, whatever is necessary, let's just do it. Let's just, um, I know it's hard, but I just want to encourage you as well as myself to hang in there because things are going to get better. You hear me? That's what I believe. Things are going to get better. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.